Well, we're able now to go live to France 24's Nadia Massey, who's in Karman Marash in Turkey. Uh, Nadia, I don't know how near you are to the earthquake damage. Can you tell us where you are and what it looks like there and how bad it is? Hello, Angela. From a scene of devastation close to the epicentre of the second earthquake, which was uh, just over 24 hours ago yesterday, I'm in the middle of what was once a residential street, and it's been reduced largely to rubble. I'm looking at three apartment blocks, homes, that have all been pulled to the ground. Within the last three or four minutes, we just saw a man get pulled alive from the rubble on a stretcher. He's been rushed away by uh, the, the emergency workers here. And families here are still waiting for news of more loved ones trapped under the rubble here. There are people huddled in front of fires waiting for news. They say they've been waiting here all morning. They found 18 dead bodies under this one building that I'm looking at right in front of me so far today. But the rescue workers say they're optimistic that they will be able to find more people alive within the coming hours. We're hearing harrowing stories of, of people sending voice messages from beneath the rubble. These people who are helping in the rescue attempt, are they local people or are these professional aid workers now? What is it mostly? It's, it's really a mix. There are professional aid workers here. They've been here for a while. There are people who are from this part of Turkey. But what we witnessed when we flew in this morning from Istanbul was that there were hundreds, frankly, if not thousands of volunteers waiting outside City Agotchen Airport, that's the second airport airport in Istanbul, queuing to try and come to South and southern Turkey to try and help. And there were buses being on to bring those people here to try and help. So it is both a national army rescue effort that's underway, a local rescue effort and a volunteer one as well. I mean, as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at women who are clearly civilians distributing food, distributing blankets, doing what they can to help their community that is so much in need today. Now, I know you just got there very quickly from Istanbul Airport this morning, as you say, so I don't know how much time you've had to talk to people. Uh, we're hearing reports that a lot of people are angry with the authorities. Is that what you're hearing? In my understanding is that those that anger that has been voiced has been closer towards the Syrian border in the province of Hatay. Many people there have said that the aid work aid workers haven't reached them in time, that people were literally using their hands to try and pull loved ones out of the rubble. That is further south from where we are. Our colleague Shona Bhattacharya is there, I believe. They, are, they have huge network problems in Hatay. Effectively, there is no communication with that part of Turkey for the moment, so I'm unable to verify those reports, but I too have seen that on social media. What I can say from what I see around me is that there is a huge mobilization, that I'm surrounded by five diggers pulling people, pulling parts of these buildings up to try and look for people beneath. I can't speak to that anger, but I, I'm aware of what you're talking about, and I believe that refers to what's been happening in Hatay. Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave it there, Nadia. Take care. Nadia Massey there speaking to us from a quake hit area in Turkey.